pour impression with facet plaster or dental stone. Pour alginate shortly after making impression to ensure accuracy. Trimming is less work if quantity of stone is kept to a minimum. Palate and tongue areas are not poured or should be removed after plaster has set. Allow model to dry two hours. For reservoir spaces, apply Ultradent LC Blockout Resin, approximately 0.5 mm thick, onto the labial surfaces. Stay about 1.2 mm from gingival line. Do not extend onto incisal edges or occlusal surfaces. Using Velo LED Curing Light, cure each tooth 5 seconds. With vacuum former, heat the tray material until it sags down approximately one quarter to one half inch. Activate the vacuum and adapt the softened plastic onto the model. To avoid distortion, cool the tray material completely before removing from the model. Cut away the excess material with Ultradent Utility Vinyl Cutters. Use Ultra Trim Scalloping Scissors carefully and precisely trim the tray to clear line which is at the gingival height, flaming edges to reduce to desired height. Scallop edges to avoid contact with gingival tissue. Return tray to model. Check tray extensions. Gently flame polish edges, one quadrant at a time, if necessary, with a butane torch. While still warm, Immediately hold periphery of each segment firmly against model for 3 seconds with water moistened gloved finger. If this overthins the tray material, fabricate a new tray.